For this video, I was thinking to revisit and try one of my old conductive paints, which is this one. So this conductive paint I developed around five years ago. And actually what is really special by this conductive paint is, like you hear, is really, really liquid, which means that the paint have low viscosity. What is also really nice by this conductive paint is that when it's dry it's really flexible, will stick to almost any surface and the conductivity overall is also not so bad. So here this plastic cup is coated with this conductive paint and you see that the paint will not break and actually it's also hard to get down so the conductive paint is actually water based which is also really, really nice. Here I also try uh, to glue together uh, two pieces of paper. And also works really, really great. Over here I have some paper which is already coated with this conductive paint and this conductive paint have usually the conductivity from 40 to 15 ohms and yeah so let's try so here i get 17 ohms 15 ohms 19, 22, 18, 19, 17. So actually uh, the coating is not even. For this reason I get uh, these changes in the resistance. Yeah. And now for this video, I will coat some model with this conductive paint and then I will electroplate with some copper. So here I have some uh, model which I print with my resin printer. And actually this model I already dip one time uh, into this conductive paint to see if I get some details. And yeah, actually the details are actually not bad. Of course, I will dip this model uh, also for the second time to get a little bit better connectivity uh, because with more, uh, more coatings, uh, the conductivity will be better and better. But also with more coatings, you will also lose on details. So first I will connect this model to this copper wire. So, oh yeah, the model is a little bit too big.
Okay, I think that this will be enough. And now I need to wait that the coating will be dry. And after some time, the entire carbon coating is dry. So you can see that also after the second coating, I still get quite good details. And now I will also use around 250 milliliters of one mole of copper sulfate. Uh, so actually guys keep in mind that I'm not really good by electroplating something But I will try anyway And yeah, so it is also possible that uh, That I will not get Good result Okay Okay, the copper I connected to the positive and the model uh, which is coated with the carbon uh, paint I connect to the negative. Okay, this will be good. So right now the voltage and the current which I use is 0 0.5 volts and 50 milliamps. Uh, so actually I will go a little bit slower with the power because I don't want to get any copper dendrites that will be formed on the model. I will also steer. Okay. So you can see the power, the current is 0 0.05 amps and the voltage is also 0 0.05 volts. Guys, after I leave this model to electroplate over the night, I note some forming of copper dendrites, but I also note that not the entire model was electroplated with copper. But anyway, I will stop over here to see what I get. Uh, but to be honest, I don't have any big hopes for the model, uh, because like I said, uh, I'm not really good by electroplating. And I'm pretty sure that most of you guys would do much better job like I do. But anyway, let's see what I get. Okay.
Enter here I have my first copper electroplated miniature. Yeah. Over here I get these copper dendrites. see over here So actually for the first try, for me this is actually not so bad. So that's it for now, um, this was my little experiment to try this conductive paint uh, in this application. So that's it for now and we see us in the next video, bye.